Hello everyone, this is Seven Dungeon Master here. I am well I'm doing this video on Metro Simulator Beta 3.10. And today I will be doing a tutorial video on how exactly to work the controls for Metro Simulator Beta 10. Now when you first open up the game, you're gonna notice a little menu pop up with um, three scenario options. So you have Simlet 1982, which only has one route. You have Simlet 2020, which has a total of three routes with an extension to Simlet Airport. And then you have Rinjam 2016, which is a new city that was actually created for Metro Beta 3.10. And then you'll also notice for each of them, it could depend on which exactly one is different. So, you want to bring the cursor over here, you have line one, stock, line two, three, as a draw, with 56,000 stock, or with some like 2020, where you do like mornings, evenings, special trains, weekend trains, um, between lines A, B, and C. So, just for demonstration purposes, I am going to click Explore. Now, with Explore, this is the one I've been doing through most of my videos, where you can select how many cars per train, you can select the rolling stock that's going to be used, and whatnot. So, I'm going to click Explore, and this will take like a second to load, but then what it'll do, alright, so... I'm going to go to Simplot 2020, alright, here we are, at the yards of Simlet, of the Simlet Metro. Now this is again another fictional one based off of the Rotterdam Metro. So now you see here that the yard is completely empty. Right? So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to set up our train. So you bring the cursor to the left and you're going to see like a menu, two things. So you're going to see a train and you're going to see a map. Now, what the map indicates is just a um, board map of points, signals, what trains are ahead, what trains are behind, what trains are at specific stations. So, and you can see over here the A tracks, the, this is the yard. So, I'm going to have a train set up for track A14. A14, that's what we're going to set it up. So, then next thing you're going to do is you're going to click the train. And there are actually three packs. So you have the um, MSG2P, which is the extended versions of the Type M and Type T stock. The Beta 3.10, which is the standard that comes with all versions of Beta uh, Metro Simulator. And then you have the High Speed Metro one. So just for the demonstration purposes, I will be doing a... I will be doing the... Type two car type T Vertigland car fifty two twenty three and car fifty two thirty three. So I'm going to set this, and then on the left you're going to see like stations. So these stations or track numbers, it depends on like where exactly you're placing your train. So I'm going to go. The cursor will work with me. Yeah, sometimes occur I'm work working this out of a laptop, so, uh, Curse doesn't like to cooperate as much. So, sorry if there's a little hiccups there. Yeah. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to send this to Simlet Airport. So, some the code for Simlet Airport, when you're setting down your train, is going to be SAP, and that's for Simlet Airport, and then Simlet Airport has three tracks, so I'm going to set this on track two, right in the middle, all right? And now when you put your cursor down, you're going to see a little thing pop up, an arrow, that's going to tell you, that's going to indicate like what trains are there, how many cars are coupled up, so you click onto that, and now we are at Simlet Airport. We have the sign right there. We have our train over here. Two car train, which consists of six sections. So then, once you see your train, you're gonna click either end. So I'm gonna click the front end. Good. So here you have the control panel. Nothing, 
if you really click anything on here, it's not really going to do anything. You have to do the buttons. So now, what I'm going to do is, right, so you have on the right, the flip thing will indicate how many cars you have per train. So, and then the marker, the diamond markers will indicate where exactly you have to go. So to turn on the train, you're going to press the following controls. Well, with my laptop, it's a little different, but but it's pretty standard for everyone. So you're going to press Control and F4. Now, if you have a laptop like mine, and you have to do F, the F lock thing, so it would be like Control, F, N, and then F4. And then, once you turn on the train, you're going to notice the, um, ATS indicator goes on, you press the um, colon button, that's going to be right underneath the escape button, <laughs> it gets annoying. So, and then I'm going to tell you your camera options. So number one, you get the first cab, number two, you get the second cab, number three, you get the very top of the train, but you can circle around it and whatnot, so you're still connected to the train, right? Four, you're at the back of the train. Five, you're in the middle. Six, you're at the track level. Seven, I guess you just stay in place. Eight, doesn't do anything. Nine, is free roam. And then to go up from where you are, because sometimes it goes diagonally, I don't know why, you would press page up or page down. Now, if you don't have a computer that has like a number lock pad, um, I'd suggest you get either get a keyboard with that or something because some of those keys are really essential. So, I'm going to go to the number pack pad um, area. So now, you're going to do the slash and the star. So when you do the slash... Hang on. Alright, sorry. I forgot I was in the other cabin. So, slash. So, the slash and star is critical because it's going to tell you your destination light. So, you press the star to go up to bring the roll sign up. So, you have a stadium leg, a spring stock, the end stopping, which means not stopping, B sims at centrum, B de Bergen, B de Mullins. Then you have a, a not identifying line, but a terminal station of Tesnavalden. Black, terminal station of Stadionweg with no line indication. Then you go to C, some left syndrome. C, De Bergen. C, Oost Park. Sorry, Jenny Dies, meaning sorry, train out of order. List, Der Istrig. Um, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly. I actually don't know what that means. Probably fit, I don't know. And then the last sign you get is the Metro Simulator Beta logo. Alright, so now that's that. And similar options with the newer stock, it's an older stock, the Type M's. It's just pretty much, there's no line indication, but it's just terminal stations. So now what we are going to do is you can actually set the train number. Alright, so to set up the train number, what you're going to do is press shift and star in the number pad and as you can see here the numbers can increase 10, 11, 12, the pretty much two digit numbers. Now you can only do this on the type T stock. You can't do you can't do this exactly on um, newer stock. So I'm going to just leave it at one. All right? And so now, let's open the doors. Now to open the doors, you're gonna press the delete button to the left, and button to the right. Okay. Now you see both doors are engaged. Open on all six sections, which you can actually control which doors open and don't. So now to close the doors, you're gonna press the letter D. And as you can see, they all close. Now, what I'm going to do is you go back, you bring your cursor back down to the 
So now you have brakes disabled, traction disabled, pantograph disabled, power disabled, and door disabled. So I'm going to click door disabled for the first three cars. So I'm going to bring it to the middle here. Press delete and open again. And as you can see, once one car opens, the other one does not. Let's close that. Close those doors again. Okay. Alright. And now, what we are going to do is we're going to go back to our cab. We're going to go back to the map. And what we're going to do is we're going to take this out for a test run. So, the only, I'm just going to do a short section like two and back, so straight section, nothing much. And what you do is you can view, you can go on the top for view, if you want to bring the map in or out, or you could just click the map to go in and out. Right? You check the indicators, you have 70 kilometers per hour allowed. Then on the bottom, next to the letter M, there's between M and shift and the right shift. You have three buttons that are going to be crucial. So you have the left bracket, the right bracket, and the question mark. The question mark button is the emergency brake, which will indicate emergency brake. But if you do that while the train is going at a high speed, you're going to hear like a bumping noise consistently, especially with newer stock. So with newer stock, it is crucial for a maximum uh, decrease in speed, you can only stay at one. Alright, don't go to two or else you're gonna hear da 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 da. Alright, so for older stock, it's fine. Well, I don't know, I'm not too sure, but don't use the emergency brake unless you absolutely need it. Alright, so now I'm gonna press the right bracket button, and here we go. The train's moving, no problems. You can use the camera buttons, the number buttons to switch cameras if you want to. Now we're in the tunnel. And on the left, you can see like a PZ dot. Right? Now I'm going to explain the four buttons when I get my train to stop because here we have 50 kilometers per hour now. So on and so forth. 
So, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I hope this was very informational um, in terms of actually playing the game. And I will see you around. So, this is